So we have a 50 kilogram box hanging from a rope. So we draw the free body diagram. Remember, free body diagram is you just make a dot and it's hanging from a rope. So the rope is going to be a tensional force pulling up. And then there will be the weight, the force of gravity, which will be uh, m times g. So in this case, this will be 50 times 9.8. Uh, that's acceleration of gravity on the Earth. And that's 490 newtons. So we've got 490 newtons pushing down. Got it? Um, what is the tension of the rope if the box has a velocity of 5 meters per second is slowing down at a steady 5 meters per second squared? Now, the key on this, for actually, there's part A, if you will. If it's moving at 5 meters per second, it is not accelerating. So the answer to part A is going to be 490, because it's going to be balanced. Forces have to balance out. But for part B, we now have a second thing going on, right? We now have a, we are accelerating at 5 meters per second. Now, let's think about that for a moment. So you've got 490, and then your second, you'll do F equals MA, which equals 50 times, now what is it, 5 meters per second squared? So that's 250 newtons. Now here's the question that you have to ask yourself. Am I going to add these numbers or subtract these numbers? That's the trick on this. So let's think about the question. The, the, uh, it is slowing down. So actually, technically, this would be negative 250 newtons. It's slowing down because this is a negative 5 uh, meters per second squared. And so since it's, go, it's slowing down, that will reduce the tension on the string. Right, so it's it's moving up, but it's slowing down and it's moving up. Think about it like an elevator. If you're on an elevator, when you are going up, right, you feel heavier. Don't you think about that for a moment? And then when it's going down, it's falling. It reduces. You feel like you 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 have less weight when you're accelerating downward. And so in this case, what you'll do is you will you will actually subtract or whatever. You're going to add this plus the negative. So it's 490 minus or plus negative 250, and you get 240 newtons. So it, you have to think this through. Sometimes getting the signs right, uh, that'll help. But I think what helps the best is if you think through it logically and think, is this going to make this like heavier or is it going to make it lighter, right? Because the object is is going downward, right, With a and it's slowing down, which is going to reduce the weight instead of increase the weight. If it was increasing in its speed, you would add these two numbers.